Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. And uh, today's uh, a discussion. And once again, all of our videos, we'd love to hear comments from you. And uh, my question of today is, why homestead? Why homesteading? Why is it important to take the opportunity to try to either go off grid or just do homesteading uh, or modern day homesteading or urban homesteading? Why is it important to learn how to grow things in your yard? You don't, when I say homesteading, by the way, you don't have to have five, 10 acres and all that. It's amazing what you can do on a lot. It's amazing what you could do on a third of an acre. It's amazing what you can do on a one acre. And so, uh, and, and then before you follow that dream of homesteading or getting some big property to do things, the start little really helps. Uh, Sherry and I were in Arizona um, and we've had property before, but we, uh, you know, the kids moved out, the kids moved on in their lives and all that stuff. And Sherry and I downsized to just simple houses with just yards. But uh, something really motivated us, I don't know, three, four years ago in Arizona to start growing things um, because it was kind of an interesting climate. And uh, uh, amazingly enough, our first garden was amazing. Uh, I think sometimes we overthink, <laughs> overthink it sometimes. And the following year, we had a harder time because we were trying to do the split season, what they have down there. They have a... Uh, early spring season, they have a, uh, a winter season, and so you can get kind of two different crops going. It's kind of interesting. But um, we uh, started learning more about soils and how different plants grow and getting them started. We did microgreens, things like that. But um, the question going back, I want to, and by the way, you like my hat? Kind of, it's my Trump hat, but not really a Trump hat. It's vote for Ranger Rob. <laughs> It's my rebel way of doing things. So anyway, uh, 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 I know uh, it doesn't matter if you consider a liberal or liberal coming on this show. We love everyone. And that's really what it is. is and that's the one thing I want to bring up about um, why homesteading. So the first question is, well, here's something I've learned over the years. So this is old man wisdom, okay? <laughs> Sorry, old man wisdom. And the old man wisdom is never put all your eggs in one basket. How do I know that one? Well, I can tell you 15 years ago, 10 years ago, I was a very wealthy man. <laughs> I'll just tell you that. And I did it through the internet and I did it through some marketing stuff and things that, and, and really it was all through Google. And we're talking big bucks. We're talking mega bucks that we're making. Um, and, and I'm not bragging or anything. I am just telling you, this was a great example of having all your eggs in one basket because in 2006 or so, some major changes took place in Google. Um, what it, uh, and I'll just say that. And caused us overnight to go from giant paychecks to little paychecks to no paychecks. And, uh, you know, when you live at a certain level of money, you tend to have your bills and everything at that level of money. And when you lose that money almost overnight and then the recession hit at the same time, it was not a pretty sight. It was a great example of not being diversified. And that brings me back to homesteading because we don't need to focus on that part. Uh, right? So that was lesson learned. I've done it. You know, there's things like that throughout my life where just learn that don't invest everything uh, all at once in one, you know, in, in one thing and depend on it. So bringing that back to homesteading or uh, independent living, self-sufficiency is my biggest worry is what's the magical thing that makes everything operate in the United States and all the other countries? What's the magical thing that makes the stock market work and money flow and banks and getting money out of the banks and ATMs and, and uh, 
lighting up our studio and doing these kind of shows and our internet, what is the one thing that, that all of us depend on to make all this happen, all this magical stuff? And that's electricity. And uh, so my biggest worry is we are so dependent on electricity. You know, they're even talking about world governments and a digital dollar and all this stuff. And I'm going, well, that's great. But what if we don't have electricity anymore? What if some weird thing came along where we couldn't produce inter internet anymore? Well, what if our infrastructures were messed up all over the world? <laughs> silly, silly dog behind me. She's... By the way, if you ever have German Shepherd, they're very vocal. They just make noises. Uh, and it's kind of cute uh, sometimes. Except when they're in your studio and you're trying to do a show. So anyway, uh, so that's a worry of mine through years of experience. Having all your eggs in one basket. So why homestead? Well, because too much of a good thing electricity is that thing too much of a good thing <laughs> it's bound to go amok um maybe not i mean you know uh, or it'll become a privilege where it's only available in certain places and stuff but it's just too good to be true and when i see something like that that just gives me a gut warning that you should know how to live without it why homestead? Well, learning how to grow food, learning how to cook without a regular stove, learning how to butcher things, because everything in the grocery store depends on electricity. Even the ring up your bill that requires electricity. And what if we didn't have that? Electricity, you know, who, you know, if electricity really, really went away, we'd even have trouble with our vehicles or pumping gas, all these things. And uh, we always hope that that never, never, never happens. However, it's too much of a good thing. So in the meantime, because of this great thing, all of us are learning, forgetting how to do anything from either surviving Staying warm, building fires, how to, where our meat comes from, how to grow your own meat, how to clean your meat, how to butcher. I know, all that icky stuff. Uh, I have news for you. Mankind has been doing all that icky stuff way longer than this time of electricity. What about lighting, lamps, oils? All this stuff you could learn while homesteading. And I always tell everybody, buy a place on the grid. Start your household with a house that you don't have to do so much repair work on. One that has electricity, one that has heating. And start living the what if scenario. What if I don't have heat? What if I can't cook on my stove? What if my refrigerators can't operate or freezers? And you can do it in different ways where it's either generators or learning how to preserve meat, how to do uh, food uh, preparation, how to, uh, how to learn how to can and jar, how to raise your own animals, how to use your property to your advantage and <clears throat> rotate your animals and your crops and your, and your gardens where you actually utilize and, and refurbish your land constantly. <clears throat> Some amazing things are going on I mean, uh, with that kind of uh, attitude of learning how to tend the land and rotate your land and make it work together. Where literally you could start feeding your animals off your own land and then grow things off your own land because your animals enhanced your soil. Amazing stuff. So I'm asking you guys, <clears throat> don't you worry about, I know some of you might be in the cities and stuff like that, but what if, wham, we just didn't have electricity anymore. 
And you say, well, that's, I can't, that's crazy, Rob. Oh, really? Have you not seen enough crazy yet? <laughs> Come on, people. Have you not seen enough crazy? Never say never. And, and this would be the end of what I'm doing right here. I wouldn't be doing these shows. I wouldn't have a studio. Um, we'd have to learn how to, he's like, Sherry and I, like, what did we learn when we had a power outage the other day? And uh, Sherry and I go, well, one thing we, you know, we're pretty happy that we have the generator back up the way it is. I wish I, I still worry about heat, but Sherry and I, you know, we have a fifth wheel in the front yard that is fully propaned up. And we could, if it really got cold here and stuff, we could just haul our little butts over there and turn on that propane heater over there and be warm as a bug uh, for a couple of days. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, um, but just imagine if it just, we lost it all. <laughs> we just, or we got it sporadically or, or a weird phenomenon happened, a sunspot that caused something that would not allow us to produce any electricity anymore. Or we just lose a lot of our grid and it's really sporadic in different places. How far-fetched is that? I don't think it's that far-fetched. So you ask yourself, how well would you do? Do you even have any skills? Can you do anything? Um, can you build a fire? Can you build thing, uh, build anything? Can you raise a garden? Can you raise animals? Uh, can you fix a hole in the roof? Can you seal things? Can you fix an engine, basic things? Can you do any of that stuff? I mean, it's so nice when you go, oh man, I could just call on the phone and get on the internet and have food delivered to me and things like that. What if that's not there anymore? You could still be over there, but if you can't electronically do it, what's, <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you, you know, planning on, if you're not doing any of this stuff at all, planning on pillaging other people or something? I have news for you. These people like us are prepared for you. We're just waiting. We know exactly what we need to do. We will protect our families. And, um, uh, that's not a good plan. <laughs> but anyway, my question is, why is it so important to learn how to homestead? Why is it important to be self-sufficient, self-reliant? What's your answer? So in the comments below, do you believe that I'm just blowing smoke? Do you believe that, ah, oh, none of this, we won't lo lose electricity or, you know, um, just cause it's the one thing the one thing that we all depend on. If we lost it, we'd be just fine. No problem. Piece of cake. Rob, you're worried about nothing. I'm not worried, but don't you just worry about not being on top of things a little bit? Don't you like to be ahead of the game a little bit? So why homestead? Well, you'll learn a lot of things. You'll know where your food comes from. Your skills will come back. You'll get exercise. You won't have time for video games and watching television all night. No sirree, Bob. <laughs> you got a homestead to take care of. There is never a dull moment here. And I'm sure there's never a dull moment at the other homesteads out there. Or let's just call it country living. It doesn't even have to be the word homestead. Everybody's got to label things. So I urge you to maybe get a little bit of it a property. Not a lot. You don't have to get a lot. You don't have to have all these different animals you see in these other shows. You get what you can handle. Learn your limitations. And if you learn your limitations, there's you'll realize the things you may have to learn or start doing. Just because you don't know how to weld doesn't mean you can't buy a welder and, get, and learn how to weld. Uh, just because you've never built a greenhouse before doesn't mean you can't get on YouTube, learn a few things and build a greenhouse. Uh, if you don't believe me, 
just watch our videos. You'll see that we've never built a greenhouse before and we're now in production of our own greenhouse. We've built compost bins. We've never built one before. We knew what they were, but never built one before. And so, uh, hey, you're never too old to learn new things. And never, never ever put all your eggs in one basket. So that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Please leave your comments below. Please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over. Become part of our family and we'll try to become part of yours. And let's work together and share this message. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. Have a great day, guys. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.